Was that the toughest loss you think you've had in your Northwestern career? Uh, it's up there. It's a tough one to, to swallow, uh, especially when you have a, a five-point lead with a minute to go. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking, but it's part of the game. Um, do you think you did? You think you had hit that last shot? I did. Shot when, I did. when I left my hand, I, I actually said, I, "I think I hit like I hit it." Um, it felt felt great coming out of my hand, and uh, unfortunately, I mean, but it, it doesn't really come down to that shot. We have to make plays before that. Before it comes to that, uh, they made the plays and we did. Um, before twenty four, but at the end, you guys really came out. Respond well in the second half after they went on the 22 year run mm -hmm. in the first half. What do you think was going right there for like the first 10, 15 minutes or something? I thought we got back to playing defense. Um, we were holding them to one shot, I thought, for the most part. Uh, where in the first half, I thought they got multiple shot attempts, uh, getting offensive rebounds, and we didn't keep the ball out of the paint early, early on in, the, in that run, and I thought we did a better job in the second half. And um, then one went wrong at the end. Do what? what went wrong in the last couple minutes? I mean, what went wrong in the Blackman shot? You know. Uh, yeah, with the Blackman shot. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think uh, just kind of fell asleep. I think it fell asleep. And I mean, James is a heck of a shooter, and I, I know that better than a lot of people. And um, if you give him a hair, he can he can take an inch. So um, great shot by him. And then he made a, a terrific pass for to Thomas Bryant. Um, we didn't crack down soon enough. And in that situation, you have to foul harder than that. You can't give up an and one. So uh, a lot of things we, we wish we could have have back, but um, certain, certainly something we can learn from. Can you describe the look you were trying to get on the last play? And also, right before that started, it seemed like there was some confusion with only four guys on the floor when you looked to the bench. What, was that, what happened in that? Yeah, well, when we drew it up, first time and the first time out, Gavin was in. And the second time out, uh, we had tap in, and then we end up having Gavin in. It, it was, um, I mean, that just that shows you how locked in we were in that last minute, and that's it's disappointing. But I mean, we we have to be better in that last minute if we want to do the things we want to do. Um, the shot we were wanting to get was uh, just me coming up the right side of the floor. They cut me off on the sideline, which is smart. you got to make a guy change directions, and they did. And I thought I got a good look off. Um, and like I said, I, I thought I hit it. So, um, you know, we, we executed that for the most part pretty well. What's the mood like in the locker room right now? Uh, you know, <laughs> heartbroken. Um, it's a tough one to swallow. Uh, you, you have the lead. Uh, kind of dominate. We felt like the whole second half. I thought we just controlled the game the entire second half, and then to just let it slip away, it's heartbreaking. To play when you're up two, uh, got the ball inside, just didn't put enough on it, or yeah, he he, um, he he affected my shot coming up. He uh, he did a good job contesting it, kind of bothered it, so uh, I I had to kind of double clutch it, and instead of going strong and. Yeah, it was just short, so I mean, he played good defense, and I just missed a shot. What went wrong for you guys offensively during the 22 nothing run to end the first half? Although we settled a lot, uh, we were not attacking the paint, not throwing it inside. I thought when we started the second half, we did a much better job throwing it down to Derek, and even Barrett when he was in. Uh, the When they made that run, I thought we were settling a lot for the jumpers, especially um, Scott and, and Vic, they, they took a couple, couple tough ones that they certainly can make, but um, when you're struggling and the other team's making a run, you have to make sure you execute and get the best shot you can get. I thought we took some early shots in the shot clock. One last question. Um, Brian, even beyond just being back in your home state, like you had one of your best performances was up at Wisconsin. Do you enjoy these road games with these big schools? Yeah, certainly. I mean, it's a great challenge. Um, different atmosphere. And the one thing I think our team does really well together is we band together on the road. Uh, we feel that you know, it's just kind of us against the, all of, the whole world, basically. Um, you know, the, the fighter in, in the mosh pit, the, you know, we're in the foxhole together and it's just us. So. It, that's one thing that I think we do really well, and you know we we've lost two in a row on the road. Um, 
one. I, one, I thought we didn't show up this one. Uh, just a heartbreaking one. But, yeah, certainly something we can build off of. Thanks, everyone.